Hello everybody, this is Nia Feiler and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 26th of December and January 2nd, 2021. Fireworks! So happy that this year is over. Not that 2021 is, is going to be much calmer. I mean, the big theme around this year is this square that we're entering already between Saturn and Uranus. And this square between Saturn and Uranus that's going to be here since, well, it's already here and until uh, late 22 and early 23 has always been about systemic instability. It occurs about every 20 years for a period of three years on off. And the whole cycle of Saturn and Uranus takes about 45 years. So the inception of the current cycle happened back in 1998, 1988 to 91. If you could remember, that's the time we've had Black Monday in the stock markets. So um, economic falls and, 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 and instability is part of this uh, signature. We had the formation of Al-Qaeda by Bin Laden. We've had the election of Mikhail Gorbachev as premier of the USSR and his way of glasnost opening to the West, openness to the West that brought to the fall of the Berlin Wall, the um, nuclear disarmament, uh, disarmament uh, agreement between the USA and the USSR and, of course, to the end of the USSR just two years later. We've had democratic protest squashed by tanks in Tiananmen Square. We've had the Chernobyl disaster just a few years before, and we've had a lot of airplane-related trouble. These are all signatures of these uh, um, symbolism that we are in, in the midst of, again, right now. Um, this has always been about progress versus uh, stability about the future versus the past, the new versus the old, civic society versus governance and rule of law, independence and personal freedom versus communal order, radicalism versus consensual thinking. It's always about the pressing need to step forward and upgrade our human conditions. And our personal responsibility as individuals within this society. It always brings civil protest and unrest. It's always about the forward movement of the structures of civilization. As a result of change and innovation. And it always involves the pressing for more personal freedom from the ruling class. It brings about social revolutions and scientific and technological progress and breakthroughs and disasters. Aeronautic and space disasters as well. Radicaliz radicalization of uh, uh, ways of belief and terror attacks. So these are all symbolic signatures that we are now in the midst of again. And... <clears throat> As I said, the inception was 1988 to 90. And then we've had the first square, 98 to 2001. And of course, we remember Kosovo and Chechnya conflicts and the 9-11 disaster and the war on terror. The opposition entered October 2007 until uh, late 2010, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, we've had... Um, the global financial crisis, we've had Barack Obama elected, we've had the Arab Spring, we've had Occupy Wall Street and civil unrest all over the world. And now we are in the third square. And it's going to be here all through 2021. On off, it's always about systemic instability. It always brings about... Um, economic and, 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 and geopolitical unrest and instability. So we, I, I believe that from April, a lot of the Western world would be already dealing with Corona, with COVID, 
on a different level. But the economy and society, the change in these is just going to grow more fierce and deeper. And for people trying to step back into the world we knew before, a lot harder. This is the time to be sensitive, to be, um, wow, I'm, I'm having a blackout, to be um, gamish, flexible, thank you, mind, to be flexible, to be the reed, not the oak, to understand that we cannot see the full picture that is emerging in front of our eyes. It's going to be much more exciting and new than we can imagine it to be. And by looking at the old options, we're missing the better ones. <laughs> we have to be flexible enough with our minds and with our char the charting of our course to actually answer these new opportunities as they appear before they disappear. Um, let's talk about our week. Let's talk about our week and what it brings about. So, Friday, we have Mercury trining. The 25th, we have Mercury trining Uranus. This is a time that new ideas, bright ideas, inventions can come in, new paradigms, new understandings. And this is heightened by the Sun trining Uranus just on the 28th. These are, you know, effects that affect us all week long. And it's a really good time to enjoy that flexibility, to enjoy the smell of the new coming in, to understand that this is a new age that we're going into. And it's going to be, you know, the, the, these are growing pains that we're experiencing. It's not going to be so hard all the way. But through these very transformative years that we are in now, yes, it is more difficult. Um, adapt ways and 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 do things that you've never done before allow yourself to take yourself progr uh, um, forward in ways that you've never allowed yourself to before um saturday the 26th we have the sun squaring chiron and again this is something that is uh, in effect for a few days before a few days after and then by the end of this week we have a full moon in cancer squaring chiron as well so that effect is something that is here to linger with us this is a time that we must face the pain face the hurt face the wound but handle it with silk gloves you know really tend that wound lovingly and 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 i mean do the work the healing work lovingly understanding that we need to be grateful that this isn't over yet that we have an opportunity to actually take the places that we're hurting in our lives, in our relationships, in our being, and tend to them and make them better and heal them. That this is an, an opportunity and a privilege. And yes, we are sensitive at this time. We are sensitive. Sunday is a good day to take strategic thing, things forward. And then on Monday, we have the sun uh, trining Uranus, as I said. Um, Wednesday, the 30th, is the full moon. We're going to have a heightening of energy up to Wednesday. And it's a full moon in the 8th degree, almost 9th degree of Cancer. If you want to see how you're affected by it, look for uh, uh, planets you might have in your natal chart in vicinity to the 9th degree of cardinal signs. That is... Um, Aries and Libra and Cancer and Capricorn. We're having the full moon that day on Wednesday the 30th as it squares Chiron. We've talked about that. And then Thursday the 31st we're having um, T-square in the sky between the moon squaring uh, Mars and opposing Pluto and Saturn. And and. Uh, Uranus is in vicinity to Mars as well. This is a combustive time, you know. The sp any spark can light up the 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 whole cake, uh, and and we need to be careful from com being combustive in our personal lives and and you know our society and our governance and with each other. You know, our tolerance could be very thin. We could lose it very easily, and this is really a test for all of us. To keep our calm. 
to keep our calm. Friday, uh, watch for exaggerations, but communication can be somewhat softer with Mercury sextiling Neptune on that day, which gives it a lot of a romantic, spiritual, or artistic flair. And then Saturday, we have a beautiful formation in the sky as the moon trines both Mars and Venus. So use those trines. It's a great time to be with people you love if you're not in quarantine like we are. It's a great time to eat and drink and enjoy physical activity. It's a time of a lot of, of vibrance in life that we could actually feel the zest of life and squeeze it. I want to say that it's still 50% off on all readings and courses. Utilize it. It's not going to be here much longer. It's for the end of this year. <laughs> and I might extend it one week after the year is ending. But that's it. So if you want to study with me via Zoom or you want to have a reading, contact me. All the details are at the end, at the slide. Thank you for listening and sharing these videos. This is Nia Filer. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.